Here we go. 35 laps. Five laps more than we normally do here at the Motorplex in a normal feature race. Honouring the legend that is Elf Barbagallo. Brad Maiolo the inside, Jock Goodyear the outside. We are green, we're away in the Barbagallo Sprint Car Nationals. And it's Jock Goodyear on the outside who takes the lead into turn number one. Maiolo down low, it's a traffic jam behind them and they've all got through safely. Down the back straight they go. The first move is coming from Trent Picton. Goes underneath it, Taylor Milling and goes into third place. As they run down into turn number one, Jock Goodyear has ridden, driven right away with this. Has a massive lead already. Back to Brad Maiolo in second. There's the battle for third. Picton is there with Milling and also King Shot as we can Complete two. So King Shot looking oh, to move yes. up a spot further back. Oh. Huge contact. That is Newton, I think. So that Veal, has come into contact. Veal had gone back through the field, slid across in front of the damaged oh, car. Red one upside are down. On, and there is a car upside down just as they were well, just about to go upside down. Uh, going into TD Granny Flats turn number one. Cam McKenzie. That is Cam believe. McKenzie who has indeed gone upside down at some point. Green lights are on. We are back underway in this big race with 34 laps to go. And Goodyear's already said goodbye to the rest of the field. He is streeting them. Back in second place, it is Brad Maiolo. Third place is Trent Picton. And then there's an almighty battle, as you can see, between Kingshot as he goes underneath the Picton. We complete two. Great move from Dane Kingshot. He's up two spots on the restart. So Dane Kingshot gets past Picton and Milling as well, right up on the inside of the curve there. And going up on two wheels, rearing up like a horse is Chris Coyle in the 79 car. Unfortunately for him, Jai Corbett's going to go right around the outside and steal a spot from him. So Taylor Milling's gone up a spot past Picton. Corbett's gone up a spot past Coyle. Further back in the field, Lockwood McHugh's gone up to ninth spot as well. Our race leader, Jock Goodyear, is out in front by two and a half seconds. So we've seen Callum Williamson make some moves, and now we've seen a couple of the others inside and out of that as McHugh starts to move forward a little bit. He's up to ninth spot. They're back in the middle of the pack right now as our race leaders have uh, gone through to complete five laps, and Jock Goodyear is going to be coming up on lap traffic in a moment. Out of the race, uh, goes one of Pinton. our competitors and Trent Pinton, who was up there in third spot at the start of this race. He's already succumbed to racing action, so he joins them on the infield. So we've completed six and there's plenty of action further back as our race leader is dicing with the lap traffic. Comes up now on Brock Kenny and Jamie Maiolo as well. And while he can't get past, Brad Maiolo is starting to close at a rate of knots. There's one lap car between the leader and the rest of them. There's Brad Maiolo chasing down Jock Goodger, and not far behind him oh, is Dane fits. Kingshot in third place. We come up and complete lap number eight. All right, let's see how Bradley Maiolo can try and just reel in Jock Goodyear, who right now is doing a bit of Tiny Tim and tiptoeing through the tulips. Jai Corbett's going in fourth. Lockwood McHugh's climbing up the field as well. He's in fifth as our race leader gets into TD Granny Flats and Modular Homes. The man that's in second is currently the 77 car. And here comes Dane Kingshot as well. So Jock Goodyear, race leader, well clear at the moment. Out ahead of uh, Dane Kingshot and Bradley Mayolo. That battle raging on right now. Wow, he's on a big move and a tear now is Lachlan McHugh. Uh, he is up there to sixth place. And I can tell you that Callum Williamson is up to eighth. He's had to come from a fair way back, as we know. So he's on a big move. But right now, James Inglis, uh, sorry, Goodyear from Mayolo and Kingshot. They're your top three. Not sure why James Inglis has gone to the top of the tree in our computer system. It's got a bit of a gremlin in it. But he's our race leader as he comes around. He's got 12 laps under his belt. So Goodyear leads from Mayolo and Kingshot, and there's not much between them. And uh, also Jai Corbett's in there. Corbett's come underneath of Kingshot and taken a spot away as they move up into Pitts Bend. That's the battle for third and fourth. Corbett is there, and he's right up behind Brad Mayolo, who's stuck behind JD Dak as our race leader is over on the back straight. The battle, though, for second, third and fourth is on. Here's Corbett, and also with him is Brad Maiolo. They get around the outside of J.D. Dak. This time around, there's 14 laps down. Jai Corbett, the big fence. chance. He did hit the fence just slightly. He's a big chance, though, to get himself 
into a top two spot here. The gap between John Goodyear and Bradley Mayolo currently sits at nearly four and a half seconds. And now Dane Kingshot's fighting his way back as Jai Corbett gets into some of this lap traffic. So Dane Kingshot gets very close to the back there and once again gets a little squirrely. Then he tries to go around the outside of lap traffic in, uh, in Andrew Priolo and they bang it down side by side. Down the triple and back straight. We've gone 16 laps and Dane Kingshot's moved up into the top three. Callum Williamson down to 18th now. So he's in a world of pain. He's going backwards further and further as this race goes on. But back out in front we go. And keeping an eye on the charging traffic, Kingshot McHugh coming together. And just in front of them is Maolo. So right now, the race is on for third place because Goodyear is still in front. Maolo, oh. Kingshot McHugh and oh. Coleman all going around. And it is, oh, just narrowly missing is Williamson, who had gone back a long way. Andrew Priolo, who was running in, I think, 19th place or 20th place. Jock Goodyear just stacks him up. Alfie Barbagallo, the man who they are racing for in honour of tonight. $30,000 up for grabs as they get going. Here's the eye to keep on McHugh. Can they catch Goodyear? Can McHugh get a spot? He does. He goes on the inside of Kingshot. Up to third is the Australian champion. And he's on the move, I can tell you. Can he catch the man out in front, though? And that is Jock Goodyear and the West Australian, of course, in Bradley Maolo. So Goodyear again drives away, but Bradley Maolo trying to stay with him as much as he can. There we've got McHugh, who's up there in third place. He has come through the field from position number 10 as we complete lap number 19. There are 16 laps to go. It's Goodyear from Maolo and McHugh. There's Maolo and McHugh. And behind them is Dane Kingshot and Taylor Milling. But they're tailing off. McHugh coming underneath of Brad Maolo as we complete lap number 20. How amazing if this race ends up being a race between the current number, uh, current Australian one and the former Australian one because here comes Lockie McHugh. He's gotten past Bradley Mayolo and he now has second place. And the eyes are now on Jock Goodyear up ahead. He's got 1.6 seconds to try and close up on the former Australian champion who won here at the Motorplex just 12 months ago. He's right up against the cushion of Mobile One. Turn number four, he's living dangerously. He is coming though, and he's coming hard, and lap traffic is just ahead, only about 10 metres now, as our race leader Jock Goodyear, and McHugh is coming on, it's really strong, up on the high line still is Goodyear, he's got a car in front of him, a slow car, and that is the 14 car, being driven back there by uh, Jason Pride, and he gets another chance to edge closer here, does Lachlan McHugh, we're on lap number 24 right now, and they're almost even, in fact McHugh's gone to the lead here, no he doesn't get over over the top, Goodyear, what a race. So move down into turn number one and two again. There's nothing separating the lead two cars. The Aussie champ is out after the former Aussie champ. They're nearly side by side out of turn number four. Ten laps to go here in the final. And it is still the 22 of Lockie Mc... Uh, sorry, of uh, John Goodyear. He's just got caught up a little bit, Lockie McHugh. But look at the speed he got off at turn two. He dives under Goodyear again. Has he hit the front this time? Yes, he has. He takes the lead as they cross the line. Remarkable driving from both these cars as they try and get their way through the lap traffic. Block spot there from Jamie Mayolo and Lockie McHugh, but he manages to get past and puts just a slight gap on, Mc on Goodyear, but Goodyear swings back and takes back the lead. So Lockie McHugh and Trump Jock Goodyear putting in an amazing show here at the Motorplex. They have gone side by side a few times throughout this race, and they're going to do it again here at Mobile One, turn number four. McHugh the low side, Goodyear the high side. McHugh confirms his spot on in front. What a track, what a track we've got. We've got We've got low line, we've got high line, we've got two cars going at it, two of the very best in the caper, who are both set sail for home now. We're inside the last seven laps and make it six now, 29 laps down. McHugh goes risky on the inside but gets the pass, and now he's got a little bit of an advantage on Goodyear. There's a slower car between them, but not for long. On the outside, Goodyear, on the inside it is McHugh, and they've done 30. Five laps to go, McHugh down low, John Goodyear on the outside. The Aussie champ versus the former Aussie champ. The former Aussie champs 
not done with. He comes back up on the outside of McHugh again. There's a car length in it. He dives to the inside. Maybe contact. He's taken the lead back as John Goodger at the end of the main straight. He leads now from McHugh. We've got a car that's spun. There's Harding has spun at the top of turn number four. We'll go back a lap. The margin was 0.091 of a second. Lockie McHugh will be back in front. Wow. Oh, I told you he was smoke. He come from position number 10 and has hit the lead, the Aussie champ. Yeah, going to get themselves lined up this time around with five laps to go. And we are just about to go racing as they race for $30,000 in the Barbagallo Nationals. Mr. Sprint Car celebrating off Barbagallo. Away we go with five laps to go. McHugh leads Goodger from Kingshot and then back to Williamson. Here comes Goodger again. He's out after McHugh. He's got the speed on the outside. Will he round McHugh up? Yes, he will. Look at this down the outside. He takes back the lead. McHugh on the inside. On the outside, it's Goodger. This is world-class speedway here at the Motorplex in Perth, Western Australia. McHugh comes again, goes back to the lead. Goodger swings around the outside, free to go. Gee, we've seen some stunning racing here on Night Thunder over this incredible season of racing at Warrnambool and of course here at the Motorplex. It continues in this 30 grand to the winner feature and Jock Goodyear has two laps to go to stick it ahead of Lachlan McHugh. Dane Kingshot still holds on to third. Callum Williamson is fourth. Back then to Bradley Mayolo but the battle is on between these two. White flag is out. One lap remains. It is still Jock Goodyear who leads, who took out the Australian Championship here at the Perth Motorplex 12 months ago. He's got Lachlan McHugh hot on his tail, but it's going to be the Tasmanian once again. Jock Goodyear is just going to sneak home and win. He beats Lachlan McHugh by seven one hundredths of a second. Dane Kingshot gets third. Callum Williamson fourth. We have been very lucky, not just here at the Motorplexes. He gets onto the top. Jock Goodyear is your winner of 30 grand. And what an awesome finish we had to the Barbagello Nationals here with 0 0.078 being the winning margin. Jock Goodyear, Lachlan McHugh and Dane Kingshot in an absolute thriller here at the Motorplex. That takes us out on Night Thunder on 7 Plus. And for those here at the venue, We'll see you again on Wednesday night when we do it all over again.